fight. And of course, the number that does jump out, 37 years old, is Michael Moore. 46 up, four down, 36 knockouts. Jeroff, of course, who fought most of his career, either as a light heavyweight or a cruiserweight, does have 29 knockouts, but you can see he gives away 27 pounds, 29 pounds, actually. I was never very good in math, to the former heavyweight champion, Michael Moore. With that, let's get to it. Here's the ring announcer, Lupe Contreras. Lupe. Ladies and gentlemen from the magnificent Pechanga Resort and Casino in Temecula, California. Goose and Tudor Promotions in association with Warriors Boxing Promotions and the Best Damn Sports Show Period presents the Best Damn Heavyweight Fight Period. These bouts are being sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Chairman is Chris Mears. Vice Chairman is John Frierson. See, this bout right. scheduled for 12 rounds right. of boxing for the vacant WBA North American and vacant WBC Continental Americas Heavyweight Championships. Supervising for the WBC, Rudy Tejas. The judges scoring the bout are Dr. Lou Moret, Lou Filippo, and Raul Caiz. Our referee in charge is Pat Russell. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come to find out who is El Mas Macho. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner. He steps into the ring wearing green trunks and weighing in at 247 pounds. His professional record, 46 victories, along with four defeats, one draw, and 36 of his victories coming by way of knockout. He is the former WBO light heavyweight, former IBF, WBA, and WBO heavyweight champion of the world. Currently ranked number 15 in the world by the IBF, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting out of Monhassen, Pennsylvania, Michael Moore. His opponent across the ring in the blue corner. He steps in wearing tiger stripe trunks and weighing in at an official 218 pounds. As an amateur, he was named the most outstanding fighter of the 1996 Olympic Games. He also earned an Olympic gold medal for his homeland of Kazakhstan. And as a professional, he maintains an impressive record consisting of 33 victories with just two losses and 29 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked number 13 in the world by the IBF, the former IBF cruiserweight champion of the world from Scottsdale, Arizona, Vasily Tiger Gino. Okay, gentlemen, here's the line right here with you, Michael. Here's the line right here with you, Vasily. 12 round championship fight. Touch up your gloves. Come out at the bell. Good luck. And with that, we take a look at the rules as they are. These are the WBC and WBA rules. The 10-point must system is in effect, of course, but no three-knockdown rule nor any standing eight count. A fighter cannot be saved at the bell in any round, including the final round. Either the referee or the doctor can stop the fight. The headbutt rule, we go to the cards after four rounds. So Michael Moore in the green. Vasily Zhirov in the Tiger Stripes. Zhirov gives away 29 pounds to Moore, who comes in at 247, but... As he said, and most everybody agrees, it's a different 247 than he was when he was 251 the last fight. He does seem to be a little bit more fit. Early rounds important in this fight. You pointed that out, Sean. Well, I think the first three rounds are going to be a barnstorm. Both of them trying to set the tempo and the pace of this fight. Then once they settle into it, it that, that tempo will subside a bit about the fourth, fifth round. And I think that's a perfect opportunity for either fighter. You know, they both have great power. Moore was telling us today that he feels that he could come up the middle against Jiroff, that Jiroff comes in wide, and so far, it's exactly what he's doing. He's had an effective jab early in his fight. 
Well, the shortest distance between two points, Barry, is a straight line. That's what he's trying to track. The other thing is, Yurov seems to be stepping into Mora's punching range early in this fight. Maybe he thinks he can outpunch a puncher. And it may be that when you're in there with a puncher, sometimes you want to prove to people, hey, I can take his shot. Not the good thing to do, though. Well, working the right jab fairly well and keeping Zhirov off of him so far. Zhirov working the body. Not a bad idea. Yeah, that'll take, that'll zap the energy. That'll take the power away from your opponent. If he's a good right-hand puncher, hit him on, the, on that right side of his body. He won't be able to lift that elbow. Same thing with the left side. Michael Moore, 36 KOs in his 46 wins. Big puncher for Zhirov, 29 KOs in his 33 wins. So they both got pop, and they both have one punch power, too. Again, a good left to the body, but coming up over the top is Moore. Very little to choose between these two in the first round. Both trying to establish the power. Look at them mixing the attack from Tiger. Moore has a habit of just, just shuffling in there, just shuffling back and forth, and just sitting there, kind of rocking back and forth. You've got to get out of that rocking chair. You gotta throw punches, and if you're going to move like that, move your head side to side, bob and weave. There you go. Good left to the body, and he got out of there. Laura's right hand whistled by him. This is again. Sheriff has said that Moore's power is when he's absolutely flat-footed, so if you're circling, he can't stand there flat-footed and really crank his punches. And that's what Zhirov is trying to do here in the first round. Now he's moving from left to right. He's also come from right to left. You should never stay in front of your opponent. Both of them southpaws. It's a kind of obnoxious style. Difficult to face a left-hander. That rocked him. A good right hand by Moore. And another one. And now Zhirov, I would think, will have some respect for Moore here. Break. Back I thought a very good first round, except for that first, that last punch by Michael Moore. That is a very good first round for that man, Zhirov. Let's take a look at the scouting reports. First, Michael Moore. Busy first round for both fighters. Michael Moore on his stool, taking a breath. And Michael Moore, you know, on the fighter profile, he's patient and poised in the ring. Real savvy. He's a questionable conditioning at times. And he, he wears a size 13 shoe. Why is that important? Well, the power comes from the mat, the ring, and the size of your foot, the foot pad. Vasily Giraud also has big feet, but here's uh, the fighter profile. Olympic gold medalist in 96. He's a southpaw with an, with an aggressive style. Former IBF cruiserweight champion. Two real champions. This should be an outstanding matchup. Well, the right hand by Moore at the end of that first round definitely rocked Zhirov. So we'll see now how he chooses to fight. He's got to have a little respect for that, at least early in this fight. Because it wasn't a particularly huge punch. No, it was not. But the balance that Michael Moore has, again, the feet. When you build a house, you build it with a strong foundation, a good base. That's the way you want to build a fighter. And when you've got a fighter that's got size 13 shoes, there's more of a base there. Also has big hands. Why is that important? The big hands, larger target. And you can hit, you can hit your target. Bigger weapon. And Moore has always been a heavy-handed puncher. He was a heavy-handed puncher right, as a light heavy. Give him up, those hands, Michael. Give me a corner, give me the wipe in this corner, coach. One punch, knockout power. As does Vasily. Look at Vasily giving these angles. Circle your opponent. Keep him out of position. Zhirov is a wily fighter in there. Zhirov feels that he did not fight the right fight against Joe Messi. Honestly, I thought that he really was the better fighter of the two in there, but he let Messi get ahead so far on points that even though he knocked him down three times in the last two rounds, he wasn't able to muster enough to win the fight on points. I think he wants to change that here. Yeah, he said that was a really messy fight for him. Thank you. And he says, you know, I just started too late. That's why in this fight he promises to start earlier. And look at this circling from him. That is so effective. That's exactly what Thel Torrance, his 
Lee Trainer, the man in his corner along with Hedgeman Lewis. He's got a lot of brain trust in oh, that yeah. corner, I'll tell you that. Those are outstanding trainers. Those are the those are the Burgess Merediths of boxing. Yeah. I mean they, they can guide you through the fight. They can tell you how to win these battles. Right now he's got more following him around. You know, I just thought Giroff in the first round was the busier of the two fighters. Even though Moore rocked Giroff, I didn't think he did enough to win the round. The same thing's happening here. I can see a case for that. And Moore has a, has a way of, of making you fall asleep, lulling you into this false sense of security. So Giroff cannot fall for that. Well, as we said earlier, Moore has one punch knockout power. He can change the fight with one punch, much as he has had one punch change the fight the other way against him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But he normally takes a good shot. He, he's been knocked out a couple of times, but as long as he's focused. Where his problem comes is when he falls asleep in fights. And you do that, your trainers have to keep you motivated, keep you in the fight. Zhirov is outworking him here in the second round, much as he did, I believe, in the first round. the end of the second round. Thank you, Lou. Michael Moore has had his moments, and here is a nice shot from him. Michael Moore. I think that punch probably looked better at first blush. And it really did. It looked like it caught him up on a shoulder to me. Well, Tom Arnold joins us now. Tom, I think the next round is the one you said Moore was going to whack him in, didn't you? No, I said six round, guys. Pay attention to the show. I got to tell you, Michael Moore, I gave him that round, but uh, Jeroff, the Tiger, is doing a lot more cardio out there. And he doesn't sit down between rounds, which I've noticed. The only real Ted I've seen so far tonight is a ring girl. <laughs> so I think they're sniffing each other like dogs at the park, and they're going to make their move. I hope one of them has a plan. I think they probably both have a plan, and they're both uh, executing it fairly well so far. I think so. Uh, it's it's like looking it. good. Yeah, I think so too. Early in this fight, you know, go old professional fighters don't start until the third and fourth round. They get their muscles loosened up, and the, 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 the muscles start working, and the joints, and the, every, the knees, the bending the waist, everything starts working in third or fourth round, and we are in the third round. I guess who's joined us here. Uh, great pal of ours here on uh, yeah. the Sunday Night Fights and a great champion, of course, talking about James Lights Out Tony. And uh, hey, who you got, it's always great to see you. Seeing a good scrap here. This is an excellent fight, but I think right now I'm waiting for one of the fighters to impose their will on one another. But Giroff kind of outworked more in the first two rounds. The first two rounds with the Giroff, but I think more needs to, like I said, needs to wake up, get started. You got to get started where it was because Giroff, the longer, longer the fight goes, the better it is for Giroff. Do you think Michael is waiting for that one big power punch? Yeah, he almost got it right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he can I hit. Think, I think as soon as he hit Giroff, you're going to see a different tone in Giroff on um, Michael. Uh, like I said, Joff is an extremely good fighter, you know, great pressure fighter, but right now it's Michael, Michael got him out of his game, I've never seen Joff go back so much in, my, in his career. Well, also, he's like real busy. Do you yes. think Michael, do you think uh, Giroff is out hustling, Michael? Yes, Joff, he's definitely out hustling on the inside and outside, so what I think with Joff, what Michael got to do, Michael got to step up his pace. More faint like he just did there, and when he's, when he's ducking, come back with something. Because Joff is open for a lot of shots, especially the one kind of left, kind of right, right hook. Missing counter, blocking counter, yes, ducking yes, counter, right? Definitely, because um, right there, yeah. up jab. They won't try to jab. Yeah. I, no. thought, I thought Thel Torrance, uh, James, made an interesting point. We talked to him this morning. You know, he said he felt that if he kept circling, then Moore couldn't really settle down on his punches. Exactly. He'd have to get up on his toes, and that's what Giroff's doing. Pretty yeah. good fight plan, I think. Yes, yeah, an excellent fight maker. Michael, like I said, he's a banger. He has to be set to throw the good shots. Uh -oh. Whoa! Two banged heads. The real clash of heads. And they're going to call man. that a knockdown. Seven. Eight. Eight. And he gets up. Is the headbutt? Headbutt. All right. Is, okay. is there any describing what that feels like, James? Well, headbutt to me, oh, I just got to shake it off and come back. Got to shake it off and come back. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? You can't go down and whimper like that. 
they, they a hurt, game. They hurt more they than, hit. than a punch, don't oh, they? they? Many oh, times. They hurt. It's like head, his head crack. Yeah, yeah. and Sheroff has a cut on the top of his head. Yeah, it's the head, but let's, let's prove it. He got the worst. He got the worst in the Shebang, even though George Michael Moore took the knee and got the um the point deduction. I think he's gonna play that blood can play at Michael. Now you see the blood, he gotta step it up. Oh sure. He has to step it up. And also when you see your own blood like that. Oh yeah. Man. Now George was in the rage. Now he's gonna try to get, get him out of there. You haven't seen your blood very much. I saw bell. mine a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. See, Sean. Maybe you fight a lot. You was a great you was a great fighter. Well, thank oh. you. Oh my God. Because what he might have done there was substantiated a 10-8 round for yeah, himself. Definitely. But uh, all the pins, I hope they don't stop the, fight, the final head, but Boom. because it could be a technical draw. Yeah, you there hate to see is. that. You know, it's high on the on the head of Moore. It's also kind of right on the point of the head of Zhirov. Both of them moving in at the same time. Yeah. Both of them reaching for a. A hook, and exactly. boom, there it is. I, think I hate to see a fight like this come yep. to an end like that. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to see that. That cut is up on the top of the head, and the the problem there is the blood gets comes down comes into down. your eyes and affects it, your vision. Right? It comes down into your eye, and um, you can't see. But um, I think, you know, if they got a great cut, man, they should be able to stop. It. And those are terribly difficult to stop, James, as you know, because in the head. going up there is you like you know, blood vessels in your skin. Exactly. And, and Unless your bald head like me you can really get to it. Yeah. Sean, I don't know. I know. How do you get? How do you get my head bald here? Yeah. I, I don't know about you, but I gotta get a jacket like that. You're looking great, man. Thank you, man. James Tony, James, yeah. thanks for being with thanks us. We look forward to seeing you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Y'all great team. Fighter. Great team. James Tony. James Tony, one of the yeah. greats. And a guy that really yeah, understood you. how to resurrect your career. I mean, that's that's something that these fighters today need to know. Some of the fighters we're watching tonight. Vasily Jirov and Michael Moore could utilize that as well. So important too, and you, you, it seems like your career, your fight and your ups and downs, the ebbs and flow of your career, as James knows, you gotta, you gotta sometimes put it all together, go back to the basics, and do what was working for you in, in the first place. I think now for, for Michael Moore, it's an uphill battle. It's not to say it can't be won. Oh, oh that was hurt. Body Gir shots. Giroff's getting pretty brave here. He came in tonight with a, a great deal of confidence. When we talked to him today, Barry, he, he was, he had no idea that, you know, he was going to do anything except control the fight from the first round on, from the onset. He's been very sharp, and I think getting sharper. Oh, yeah. There's another headbutt up under the chin by Giro. <laughs> the blood continues to come down the face of Vasily Giro from the sky. So you really got to watch your opponent's head. Wow, really put those hands up around your face. He's yeah. leaning in with his head. There's no oh, question about it. I mean, this could get ugly. It's already fairly ugly, but we could start getting points deducted, and we could even wind up in a DQ here. And that's, you don't want to see the fight end. Not at all. Never. Never. They have a rule in the amateurs that you can never let your head in front of your hands, in front of your guard. I think I wish you, the, the pros would adopt that because your gloves would always be in the way of your heads coming together. Oh. In the meantime, Joff is really administering a beating right now to Michael Moore. And I applaud him. He hasn't allowed that the cut, the headbutts, to, to get him out of his focus. There's That's the good. best punch of the fight by Joff right there, not more backward. You got to stay focused and concentrated, even though you have a cut, even though you have blood streaming down your face. You oh, really have to stop. remember what Wait, your fight plan back. is. Good. Sometimes that must change. This is really more about what Giroff is doing than what Moore is not doing. Yes. Michael needs to be busier. There you go. Throw some combinations. Every time he does, he gets Giroff going backwards. And it's so hard to knock out a fighter with one punch. He does have one punch power, but Stop get him hit, 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 hit oh, with these hit. easy punches. Step back, step he lowers back. his guard, and the then you can clock him. Good body shot at the bell. Hey, ice pack. All right. Ice pack. Good Take a deep breath. Yeah. Okay, now look. 
I want you to, I want you to box in this night, this round like nothing has happened, okay? Mm -hmm. like, stay real loose, like nothing happened. Want you to keep the jab going and keep pain with it, see? Yeah. Keep stepping around and keep busting him up with the jab. Okay. Don't get hurt. Now, when you pull out, make sure you pull out with your hands up, okay? Okay. And don't pull out in a straight round. Just pull out in a little angle. Just watch that head. Next time yeah, okay. you're going to leave it, I'll probably take yeah. your point from it, all right? Yeah. You understand that? Right. Move, move, move. Don't leave with the head. Okay. All right? Hit him with the knees, baby. Get his neck. Wipe his arm. Get his neck. Wipe my toe towel, that rip. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Keep your tight gloves, okay? Keep your tight gloves. Go on on that. Tight gloves. You're doing good. Let's go. Let's go. Um, hey. Hey, look. Round number five, and uh, some serious intent in both corners. Yeah. No drama here, huh? Man, both of them, both corners. Look, at, you see the caution. You know, you, you see what brings out the, the fighter in, in all of us. You know, you, you, you got cut. You're out there swinging. Talk about hard. Both of these kids have that. I think Jiroff is fighting a very smart fight here. Oh yeah. He's starting to wear more down. I think now. I respect Moore's power, and I still sure. right, obviously have to right, stay to the game plan. But right now, it's been all Jiroff. Hey, the last thing any fighter loses is his power. Remember what Michael free told hands, us today hands, in our Michael. meeting? He said, oh, I'm sorry, Girard told us, I'm going to box Michael when he wants to fight, and I'm going to fight him when he wants to box. And Moore's getting angry because he feels it was another headbutt. I didn't see that one. Good shot, Good. right hand. Hook. That right, right hook is a dangerous weapon. It comes at you from an angle on the side where you're not paying attention. And it cracks you. Sheriff working the jab very consistently. It's not a powerful jab, but it's it's there and it's in your face all the time. And it's what's controlling the jab. You know how many times I've said the jab is the most important weapon? Look at him here. He's controlling the jab. If Michael were to jab with him, Michael might be able to steal the play away. But I, I think that is controlling this fight for Vasily Zura. That one Let's was go. low again. Oh, caught him on the hand with the right hand. Zura out quicking more. He's just not allowing more to get off. And Moore a little flat-footed here, feeling that 247 pounds. You know, he's had only two fights at this kind of weight, this heavy. One he won, and one he lost. Yeah. Yeah. Lateral movement. Just step around your opponent. Great job from Jirov. You can make a case yet for Michael Moore having won a round. Maybe the first. Yes, I agree with you. Michael has, and that's been the problem with Michael. He sometimes, he, he's such a thinker. And we talked about it today. He's, he really thinks a lot. Sometimes in these fights, if you think the opening's gone, you have to react. It's trained, it's conditioned. Stop the bell, fellas. Wild left hand by Giroff, but again, I think he did enough to win. Stop. Go back. And a five. Well, Tom Arnold joins us now. And, Tom, how are you seeing this fight? The Tiger looks to me like the Tiger. He does look like a Tiger. I'm enjoying it, though. But I'm a little nervous about Michael Moore. I think he's waiting for something big. But the Tiger is still leading with his head, even with the injury. And I've had a couple of hair transplants, and I know how painful those are. So he's a brave guy. He's, he's swinging a little low. I'm worried he's going to lose some points. But it's a good fight, and hopefully Michael Moore has a plan because he hasn't enacted it yet. That's for darn sure. I think that's true, and I think the other guy, as you said, has enacted. Exactly. So we'll see what happens. This is the round, though. This is it. That's right. This is the one. This time I mean it. This is the one you predicted. Right? This is the one. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right, Tom. Thanks, Thanks very much. Tom Arnold, of course, uh, with a knowing eye. You know, and that may happen. I mean, it only takes, the great thing about these heavyweights is it only takes one opportunity. You drop your guard one time. Perhaps you get complacent. Zhirov has to remain focused. Moore can Tom. land the big power. He does have it. And he wants to deliver it. So this is round six. 
Moore has just been unable to get off, and I think that has more to do with Zirov than anything else. Of course it does, and Zirov, see how, how even though these, a lot of these punches that he is throwing, they don't have a lot of power to them from, from Vasily, but he's putting them in his face. You know, keep your opponent's eyes busy. Keep hitting him, and he can't hit you. Keep him on the defense. play that rock, scissors, <laughs> paper in a glove, wouldn't it? Can't do it. You have to be rock all the time. Well, he's uh, got, they both have rocks oh, in their stop. fists. Don't hit that kidney step back. These two Wait. heavyweights. I just think Zhirov has come in here with an idea of what he wanted to do. And he's, and he's done it. Yeah. 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 Triple jab right there. Triple jab oh, again. These jabs, oh, so vital. You know, you, you use that jab too to steer your opponent. You put him out there, you put him where you want to put him, and then you nail him with the, with the powerful cross. You know, boxers leave that cross behind them, their power punch, it's their dominant hand, and they set it up with their passive punch. Well, you heard the guys talking before uh, about the longer this fight goes, Chris Bird, I think, was mentioning the longer the fight goes, and of course, so is James Tunney. The Don't more it is to Giroff's oh. advantage, and, and not sure. only is it going longer, but he's winning all around. Sure, I believe that too. I, I, I believe that it's, you know, the longer it goes, the better. Giroff is always in, in terrific condition, and he's got a style that's difficult for somebody like Moore. Moore has to have somebody to hit, somebody to stand still. Slip the left hand and see what that does for his confidence, but he takes the left hand of the body in return. Watch that head, Vasily, watch that head. Don't leave with it. That jab is really bothering Moore, I think. Oh, yes, it is. Jab controls the fight. Now, there's a couple of ways you can steal that jab. Just out jab your opponent is one, or you can go down to the body and, and make them stop reaching with that jab. You can counter the jab. You've got to control that jab, first of all. Great weapon for zero. Missed with a short hook. Strike one. Moore's arm to come all oh, the way down. The That's, That's obviously, oh. he's obviously feeling those. And That's another good round for Zhirov. And he'll feel them tomorrow, and the next day he'll feel them. Very smart. Well, it has been a really busy fight. Remember back in the first round, it was both of them kind of feeling out their opponent, but going on the attack. They heated up quickly in the second round. Moore landed some good punches. But it was Jirov who came back, I think, took control of that round. In that third, the two moving forward, banged heads, and boy, they both felt it. In the fourth round, they again were moving forward. Some of the blood coming down from Jirov and a headbutt again. Michael Moore getting the worst of that one. In the fifth round, really intense and trying to go downstairs to the body and too low from Vasily Jirov. And there is Michael Moore, still wondering when he's going to kick in gear. Let those hands fly. You know, when you're carrying extra weight like that, you, you tend to pose. Stand there and pose and wait for the openings. But again, I don't, I don't think it's so much the conditioning of Michael Moore or the lack of conditioning. I, I, I think he probably is certainly in better shape than he was in his last fight. I just really think that, that what Giroff is doing here is just keeping him completely off balance. No doubt. No doubt. Power is, is it so important, and power rules in the sport of boxing. But the quickness and speed will beat power. You can see the power in that jab of Michael Moore when he throws it. It's, it's a powerful jab. But it's hard to out jab a jabber. Well, he's got a good jab. Michael Moore does. He uh, obviously boxes from a southpaw stance, but he's naturally right-handed. So he has a lot of power in that right jab. Left hook by Zhirov. Watch that head. 
and Zhirov cannot get sloppy here. Cut over the eye of Zhirov now. And and I think that was from that okay, last time. little sort of mini headbutt. It's, it's on the side of the eye. It's by a butt. And, and the referee is saying, Pat Russell, that it is the result of a headbutt. Of course, we're past the four rounds now. Should they stop the fight, they can go to the cards. And he is wiping in that cut. Having been cut many times, you don't know when you're cut. You feel the, the effects of it, like a headbutt or something, or even a punch sometimes, but you don't know that you're cut until you can feel the blood dripping, drip, dripping down your uh, face, or your corner tells you. And what it's done is it's made Moore a little braver here. And Moore is sensing something. Oh yeah, maybe that's what he needed. A little bit of confidence. That, that blood is coming down with some consistency here. They got some work to do in Zero's corner. And all of a sudden, Moore gets on the attack a little bit here. And the crowd hears it. They see it. This is an astute boxing crowd. They've seen some big fights. They know when the tension is there. And they care. I think, though, that much as Zhirov uh, let Misi get away with the fight early, I think that's what Moore has done here. So I, I think if he's going to win the fight, he's going to have to whack it. A much better round for Moore, despite Zhirov having had his moments. Stop the bell. You're a bloody mess. There's some serious work to be done in the corner of Vasily Zhirov. Yeah. Gonna get a chance to see the headbutt here. There it is, it wasn't as serious as the other headbutts. No, but I think he's been taking several headbutts over on that eye, just the way he stands and the way he turns. Well, Tom Arnold looks like the uh, the worm is turning a little bit here. Well, it seems like it a little bit, but you know, with the tiger, his style, he always seems like he's kind of staggered a little bit. But uh, hopefully, that blood won't uh, stop the fight, and they'll just let it keep on going so we can see a full fight because these guys both have a lot left in them, I think. Yeah, I think this fight has really uh, gone not exactly like we all thought it might. I, I think it's not only gone into the later rounds, but it's still both these guys still pretty active in the later rounds. Well, it's funny how one round, this last round, started off slow. It was boring. It, was, it wasn't as exciting as rock, paper, scissors. And then, you know, it turns out great. Yeah, so far it really is. More, I gave more of that last round as the first round I gave it. Yeah, me too. And the, and the last round, as you said. They, uh, they did a nice job working on that cut. It is a vertical cut, with, which would be more indicative of a headbutt uh, as opposed to a horizontal cut. And they've done a, a nice there. job of, of uh, tending to that cut. What they use in there sometimes is, uh, is Avatine, or they use thrombin, one to a thousand, thrombin topical. Try to stop the bleeding. They've got to stop the bleeding. If the blood goes into the eye and it impairs the vision, that's when the, the doctor will stop the fight. Right now, I don't think that cut is serious enough to stop the fight. And that said, underneath the left eye of Michael Moore, there's a pretty good swelling, too. Right, but it's underneath the eye. No, that's yeah, right. right. No, it might, they might close the eye, corner, but it, exactly. it wouldn't stop it for the swelling unless it, unless it absolutely closes the eye. No, that's right. I'm not, suggesting, I'm not suggesting they would, but it could cause more of a problem as this fight goes on. Boy, look at this confidence from Moore. All of a sudden. Barry Tompkins, the champ, Sean O'Grady alongside, telling you about it. And of course, all the guys from the Best Damn Sports Show, period. Tom Arnold, Chris Rose, John Sally, Brian Cox. It's good to see them enjoying this fight. When, when they get into it, it really, really, you know, kind of pumps me up, too. And they have gotten into this fight for good reason. This fight, uh, of course, is a 12-round fight. It is for a championship of a sort. The bottom line is what it does is it propels the winner right into the heavyweight championship stop. picture right. where they get can back. start thinking about guys right, like you the guy alongside there. us, James Toney, and the guy up there for the on with this the set, one Chris Bird. The There's another headbutt. They're going to take a point away from zero. Let's go. Yes, and for those of you that remember or that have just joined us, this is the Michael Moore that fought George Foreman. And, That's uh, right. Watch that head. George Foreman. Came back after 10 years and won a heavyweight championship of the world. 
Well, you know, the other thing now, they took the point away from Giroff. So if Moore goes on and wins this round, all of a sudden he's got a 10-8 round, and the whole complexion of the fight changes. Back in it. Back in the fight. The right hand from Giroff. Right, you know, back, that's what's so back, exciting about right. this You're heavyweight right. division. One punch oh. changes everything. Now, Giroff absolutely cannot no afford any more headbutts. No place else he can get a cut. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that too. He's cut everywhere. That too, but I think he's toying with a, with a DQ if he gets another one. Yeah, that good hurt. uppercut by wow. Moore. Back Giroff off. Where was this in the first round? The first few rounds from Moore. Watch those heads. You know, Michael Moore has had incredible talent. Now wow. Giroff on the attack, and now Moore answers. And a right hand by Giroff. What a brawl. was a back and forth battle, especially toward the end. It built to a crescendo. Both of them realizing they want that round. Oh, he got right. Okay. Here's how it started. Two banging heads there, right there. See Girov moving in with it. And the uppercut did a lot of damage to Girov. Later in the round, Girov trying to keep the, the attack on, pressing the attack. And here's the flurry from Girov toward the end of the round. And Michael Moore said, no, I need to steal it back. Hard round to judge. Very close. I gave the round to Giroff, which means on my card it's a 9-9 round because he had a point taken away. And I gave it to Moore. But you know, there are those judges that, that give more credence to aggressiveness. And I think Giroff in that round, where I saw he was more aggressive. That's an either way round, though. That's yeah, very tough round That's to how score. close it was. Oh, and you learn so much about your opponent. In a 12-round fight, you learn everything about, about your adversary. You know him. This is round nine. You know what kind of guy he is. You know how he thinks. You're concentrated. You're so focused. You're so in tune with your opponent. You play off his mistakes. You dance with him. That looks like another, 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 another try to headbutt. That's a wrong move. Vasily Girov has got to get rid of that move right there. See where he just ducked his head and walked in. He, free him up. Free up those hands. He's got to stop, stop that kind of move. I think he has to be very careful. A couple of jabs from Girov. Where was that jab in the last round? You know, Girov talked about it earlier in this fight, how, how he's controlling with that jab. Shurup is also getting a little lazy with that right arm. It's down at his hip. Yes, it is. Oh, slapping left hand from Shurup. Watch that head. There was another little headbutt in there. Oh, another. Shurup doing good work. The board is back to the ropes. And again, using his hand. Watch those Put a boxing glove on the top of his head. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be careful. careful. He's about to lose another point, and, he, and it's not out of the question he can get DQ. Moore fights off the ropes with a good right hand. Whoa. And a good left hand by Moore. Giroff trying to fight back, and a left hand by Moore. Giroff getting up quickly. He would have That's been the dangerous thing to do. Would have been smart to stay down. We just finished saying he was dropping that right hand, which made him susceptible to the left hand of Moore. I told him. I told him. I told him. I told him. Take, take the gloves off. Take them off. That's a big, big win for Michael Moore, and what a comeback win, because he was, on my card, he was behind six points. A huge win, and he has resurrected his career with that punch. You know, we said he's got the power, and, he, and I felt like he was always dangerous. 
But uh, Zhirov, oh, still a bit bemused. When he jumped up after being knocked down, it really worked his detriment because all of a sudden he started wobbling. What you're taught to do in training is to get up to one knee, take an eight count, and then stand up. But you're not thinking cognitively. Michael Moore has resurrected his career. He's got to be so excited. He came in here with great confidence tonight. I don't think there's any question about it. And it was a very different 247 pounds that he came in with. You're Brian Cox say that he was a teammate of Richard Hogan's, who was not only not his trainer, but rather his his weight guy and he uh, physical trainer. And uh, he worked with him on his on the physical part of it. And of course, his corner uh, did the training for the fight. And uh, Michael Moore, while he was way behind in this fight, in my opinion, I'll be interested to see the judges' cards, but left no doubt about it with that left hand. And here's where the mistake happened for Vasily. Trying to stand up, just stay on one knee. The, the problem is it's hard to teach somebody how to do that because you're not thinking cognitively at that point. You're hurt, you're knocked out, you're fading in and out of, of consciousness. And referee Pat Russell said that's enough, that's all. Once again, Zirov on the attack, his hands have come down. You're right. Absolutely. And boom. Lowering the boom is Michael look, Moore. Look where his right hand is. Down at his hip. And jumping up. Well, a huge win for Michael oh, yeah. Moore, and needless to say, a very disappointed Vasily Zirov. Yeah. He did everything right except win the fight. Michael Moore back in the picture. Very much back in the picture. In fact, uh, James Tony was right over here talking to Michael Moore just a moment ago. I'm sure he's going to talk a little bit more as this night goes on, and we're coming back after this. You got to give him a shot. We welcome you back. There's a champ and a wannabe champ. Let's go to another champ. Here's Tom Arnold. Tom, how'd you see it? Guys, I had a 75 71 0 off till that last round. It was a hell of a fight, though. But that's the thing. You never know what's going to happen. We got this guy, he's making a speech here. Maybe the announcement, but uh, it was a great fight. Michael Moore is definitely back. Yeah, it really was. Terrific fight, and boy. Both guys, both guys kicked ass. Turn around, absolutely, absolutely yeah. right. Right now, let's make it official. Here's Lupe Contreras. Lupe. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, referee Pat Russell stops the bow with an official time of two minutes, eight seconds of round number nine. Your winner by way of knockout, and now WBA North American and WBC Continental America's heavyweight champion, Michael Moore. Well, I don't think there's any question. Michael Moore will get another fight, and it'll be a money fight, and it'll be a championship fight, very likely. Well, he just made some money tonight trying to establish himself, and he did. Here's what he did in one punch, one round. He turned the tide in this fight, and he told other heavyweights, hey, I'm still out here, and I'm a force to be reckoned with. Look at the hands coming down of Zhirov, and while he's ducking into this punch, he just catches it. Oh, when you get hit, your legs, like, leave the building, and that's what happened. Now, look at his leg. When he stood up like he did, you could see how hurt he was. Pat Russell, the referee, made absolutely the right call. That's it. Yeah, it's over. No question about it. And, and your point is really well taken, Jump. Let's go right now. Hey guys. Tom Arnold's with the winner, Tom. Hey, guys. Congratulations. You're back, Michael. How's it feel? Feels great. First of all, thank God. Second of all, I want to thank Richard Hogan's uh, Warriors Boxing. That's right. That, that put me in their corner. Yep. The Seminole Tribe of Florida. Yeah. Thank you. I thank everybody. My son and my daughter at home. Yep. Buddha, daddy coming to see you, boo. Daddy coming. All right. Let me ask you this. All the experts had it backwards. They said the longer the fight lasted, the less chance you had. You got stronger and stronger. Why is that? Richard Hogan's. He worked my behind off down in Memphis. And this Rich right here. Hey, Rich. What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on? Hey, mate. But he did a hell of a good job. And the head buddy, I got to say, the head buddy, that's crazy to head you. Your head is the size of a space helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about yours now. Yeah, exactly. But congratulations. It feels good. Yeah, it feels great. I'm back it. Once again, I'm back. What's, what's, what's next? I guess this uh, shut all the critics up. Let's say 37. If you feel you're 37, then you're 37. I feel like I'm 25. Yeah. So, so it's, it's it was a tough fight. You got to give. Yeah, yeah you got to give credit. He was to tough. He was tough. Yeah. But look at the monitor. There you are. Let's check this out here. Left hand. Bam. I remember. Yeah. Because I saw it lean, lean his head, and right there. Did you know? You knew right it. Right there. I knew because I landed. I landed. I felt it. You think he tried to get up too quick? 
No, I mean, he was out. It was a perfect shot. Wow. I felt that, you know, boxers, they feel it right on their uh, knuckles. And how do you rate the, the Tiger and all the fighters you fought as far as toughness? Well, he's a tough guy. I mean, tough. I fought the Russians as an amateur. I knew he was going to be tough. I seen him fight, and I knew he was going to be you tough. You know, 10 years ago, I was at the Foreman fight, the exact opposite of this. You were kicking his butt, bam. This one was the exact opposite. How does it feel to be 10 years later still here? Well, it really doesn't matter about 10 years, what happened. What's important is right now. That's what I say about my ex-wife, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Barry! Welcome. All right. Let thanks very much, Tom. Hi to everybody back in Manesson. But, yes. We did it once again. Yes, again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank All right, Tom, thanks Thank very much. Thank and that's uh, a guy who we're going to be seeing more of uh, in the heavyweight division. There's no question about it. Uh, Michael Moore, soft-spoken guy, very bright guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and he was thinking too much. You know, we talked about it during the fight, but uh, he really is a smart, articulate guy. And I hope that in his next fight, though, he starts earlier because tonight he was really strong in that final round. All right, we're going back up to the center of the ring. Tom Arnold now with, I'm sure, a disappointed Vasily Zhirov. Tom? Yes, how, how are you feeling? I feel good, actually. And it's... It was, it was a good fight, you know. It was a little bit dirty fight, but you know what? It was a good fight. And when you say dirty fight, you mean the, the head body, the low you know, blows? Yes, you know, he punched me a few times in the back of my head, you know, before before I fall down, you know. It's it's all bringing it to, to the sand. But at the end, you were done. I mean, you were wobbly, you were done. You jumped off awful quick. I thought you should have stayed down, but we got it right here. We're going to show you what happened. We're going to show you what happened here. Describe what you're feeling here. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, that hurt. And there, but you got it back there. You. There you go. And see how quick you try to get up. Yeah. And you, your legs just wouldn't come back. Am I right? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I never was like that on the cow. You know, so it's the first time. Do you think the refs? Do you think it should have gone on? Do you think they called a little early? You know what? I could fight more. You know, but. Whatever referee did, he did the right decision for him, you know? I'm looking at the cuts in your head, how bad did they feel? And my wife knows a great plastic surgeon if you want me to recommend it. Thank you, it's okay. Yeah, okay, we'll get you all fixed up and you'll be back, am I right? Oh, yeah, I'll be back and I want to rematch. It's just going to make you stronger. Barry, all right. back to you. Thank you very much, Tom, you. and uh, very much.